I am back. What it do, baby? I am back. What it do, baby? First day back at Ellis Nasty, we've been up north working and it is great to be back. I'm terrified to walk in the shop right now. I'm terrified. I gotta take a step back. Um, the shop, like most shops, has this like wild issue of just getting cluttered and dirty and tools lost and stuff everywhere and parts missing like you would not believe. It's, 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 it's wild actually. And I'm so scared to walk in there because I know it's not like how I left it. Generally, Sundays are my days I come up to the shop when no one's around and I clean. Because I like to have a clean shop. Appearance is big for me. Appearance is big for me. I like to have all my trucks clean. I like to have my cars clean. Appearance. Life is about perception. Okay, this is what I've learned. Now, this is just my take on it. Life's about perception. So, if people perceive that all your stuff is well put together and clean and nice then they perceive that you are just like next level if your stuff's like cruddy and dirty and falling apart they just perceive that you're like you just don't take care of your stuff so my trailers always clean the cars inside it always clean the trucks always clean unless i'm like um, this is dirty mind you i was up there working and i still went and washed my truck off so it wasn't like you should have seen how dirty it was but life's all about perception I, i'm big big image guy it means a lot now the shop itself it hasn't really looked the cleanest because we've been doing some upgrades, putting a drop ceiling in, and it's been killing me. But I've done my best to try to organize it, and uh, I've had a bunch of help. Matt, Logan, Wes, a bunch of people really been help uh, clean everything up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you guys ready? We'll just, we'll just do, like, a live first look. Um, let's just see. Okay. All right. All right. All this stuff here goes in the other room. It's it's all moved because of that. Got, Phil's got one of his cars on one of our lifts. There's Phil's lift over there, which I think the car like Ben's working on. We got a big wheel car in here. This is new to me. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. Um, I would say not the, uh, not the worst, but not the best. Got all the stuff here. I was literally working on stuff when I got the call to leave. So I just dropped everything that I was doing and hit the road. So now that we're back for a little bit, we got a couple important things to talk to you guys about. Uh, one, we got the Ellis Nasty Experience giveaway coming up very soon, starting the 27th. So you guys are not going to want to miss that. An opportunity to ride in one of the race cars, come down here and hang out, go to a race, and just be part of the LS Nasty family. That's it. Uh, we got a whole new website design. Uh, Robert and the guys over the trophy case absolutely knocked out of the park. We got all new merchandise. We are ready to rip. We are ready to go, and I am very, 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 very excited about it. Uh, we're very close to wrapping up the Bad Apple. Uh, Matt, he was down in Mississippi, Louisiana, doing some work for us, and now he's back. He's actually going to make a pass tonight uh, at Greer uh, with MK Ultra, shake it down, and then um, he's coming back down here, and I think we're going to try to go racing somewhere this weekend, or at least testing to shake down the black sheep and go and have some fun. So that's the plan. That's what we got going on. Get excited. Get hyped, because we're back. We're bringing you guys some co quality content. I can't even speak. I'm so excited. Uh, and then I'm going to bring you guys some sad news today. Bring you guys some sad news. Are you ready for it? Are you guys ready for the sad news? All right, let me get, let me get, let me bring the sad news over here. Low key. I love using the bad apple as a tripod. Also poison ivy. No joke. Um, if you got, I've never had poison ivy before. I got it from a bush out there. Uh, don't mess around with poison ivy. This stuff 
stinks. Uh, shout out to Logan K. Paul for hooking me up with this poison ivy. I wouldn't be able to do it without him, so thank you. All right, let me get you. Let me get you the sad news. Let's bring the sad news over here. If you guys are avid viewers of the channel, you guys will know exactly what's under here. If not, I don't. I mean, listen, I don't blame you. I don't, I don't blame you. This right here. This is a very important piece of TCAM performance power sitting in front of me. So what this thing is, this is, uh, it was my world record 5-3 block. So I had this game plan, for those of you guys that don't know about the game plan, uh, I was going to build one car from start to finish. So I went to New Jersey, picked up this crusty, salty, Trans Am that became the salty chicken. We ran it stock. It ran like 13 eights and I sat I sat down I made a video and I was like listen I'm going to do a Build series. It's gonna take a while I'm gonna do a build series of a, no expense spared to me Like I was gonna do everything that I could within my power and my budget to build the baddest Trans Am race car No time car from start to finish so We get uh, we get the car and we and we got it down and it's time to start talking about a, a power plant. And at the time, the stock block record was like a 450. And I was like, dude, let's build this thing so light. We'll put a stock block motor in there and we'll go and beat the record. And the build from that point on just snowballed into this absolutely awesome project that a piece of me died when it died. We'll get to that in a second. So I ended up coming across like some of these crazy, crazy, crazy deals. I got like a $20,000 carbon fiber body. Mind you, it would still be a, a steel roof, steel quarters car because at a T-top, you can replace the T-top with a carbon roof. So it would literally just be steel quarters but still fit all the rules. Uh, carbon body, uh, front end, fenders, front bumper, uh, hood, doors, deck lid, trunk, roof, everything. And it was like so nice. It was like $20,000. I got it like a smoking deal and I was like, you know what? This build is just gonna go next level. I started ordering wheels. I got alphas for it, magnums up front, tubular outlaw K member. Like the build was going to be sick. And then the build died. So uh, the whole point of this engine, this build, was we're gonna build a badass stock block 5.3 and we're gonna put it in a light car because stock block and heavy don't go along well. You, you hard on parts. Lightweight, stock block happy not not as hard on parts you can definitely like look at matt's car with how light matt's car is it just works so much better so much easier so much more effortless um so uh, this was really what got myself and ls nasty in with tcam uh, when i went up there my man kevin mullins which i don't know if you guys have known he's been 411 before <laughs> And then he's been faster than that. But I'd just like to give Kevin hell and say he's been 411. I went up there and said, hey, Kevin, I want to build a stock block motor for my YouTube channel. And Kevin's like, what are you talking about, YouTube channel? Like, who who cares about it? I don't think Kevin was really was up with YouTube. I think he watches YouTube now. I, I don't think at the time he had internet at his house. Kevin just stays in his shop working. So uh, I was like, listen, let's build the baddest stock block. I ended up getting this block from my buddy Bob Brown. And it was an absolutely sick block, like super thick sleeve Siamese boards, like the best stock block you can get. Took it up there to Kevin, and I was like, dude, let's make this thing happen. Let's build the baddest stock block motor ever. So we're going to call it, we call the build the World Record 5.3, and it was absolutely sick. The setup on it, it's got uh, Dragon Slayer crank, uh, MGP aluminum rods, um, a custom TKM solid roller camshaft. Uh, it's got a badass set of fully skirted Wiseco pistons. It's got a Dart Pro One heads on it. Uh, T and D rock arms, absolutely sick spring package. Titanium valves, a double roller timing chain. Uh, I mean, this is as far as stock block stuff goes. Uh, it's no expense spared, and is it is the max. It is the most you can do to a stock block. But 
because of the salty chicken dying, I cannot use this engine to its full potential. I, I just, with with the Colorado build being heavier than, uh, you know, a carbon fiber Trans Am, uh, and which was expected, as of right now, the Colorado sits all steel, all glass, which I think is sweet. But uh, I wasn't really too excited to put this in a heavier vehicle because I know it's not going to perform as well. Uh, we're talking about, you know, it could be, you know, where you're running 420s with this thing, you're running 450s with the Colorado, just because you're so, it's so much harder on parts to move that heavy weight. So, made the decision, we're going to get rid of it. Um, we're going to let go of, now that's what I'm saying, with, with TKM, this thing right here, this was my in with TKM. This is what got myself and Kevin and all the guys and everyone here at LS Nasty and everyone at TKM Performance working together. This build, you know, we put a couple videos out of it, did absolutely amazing uh, view-wise, uh, got a bunch of traffic to TKM, and not, not that same, we put TKM on the map by any means, Kevin did that by himself years and years and years ago, TKM has been a top dog in machine work, but I think to a lot of the guys, the LS guys, the guys that want a stock block, the guys that want a Black Sheep Stage 1 package, uh, they want a Black Sheep Stage 2 package. They want a turnkey motor engine combo that they know is going to go fours in the eighth in a 3,000 pound car. That, I feel like, is what we were able just to bring to you guys and say, like, hey, if you want to go racing and you want a 480 uh, engine turbo ECU package, call TKM Performance and they can hook you up with the entire thing turnkey. Just find someone to put it in. Uh, so this, this build here, it means a lot to me. Uh, and uh, it's very sad to see it go, but it's kind of one of those things where life is is always going on. Life's changing. Uh, you can have your you know your set goal and your plan, but some things come up and they change you know where you're headed, and you just gotta adapt and overcome. And that's what we're doing. So you know, let, let's try to find the light. Let's try to find some good in this video. I know what you guys are saying. Well, John, you're gonna put this in the Colorado. What are we gonna do now? And that's what I was saying for a while. I was like, damn, you know. Uh, LS Nasty, that's all, I mean, we got a couple small block Ford, small block Ford Nasty, but LS Nasty, I mean, that's that's what I know. I can tear one of these motors down and, and put them back together, you know, pretty quick. I feel pretty comfortable with it. It's easy to find parts. I, I love the LS. The LS is like my gravy train. My work trucks that work on storms have LS motors in them. The LS motor makes me money. They win races. They're, they're badass. So what are we going to do? Are we just going to build an extremely badass LS engine to go in the Colorado because it's heavy? No. We're starting big block nasty. Yep, I said it. Big block nasty. I got myself a 500 cubic inch big block that's going to go in the Colorado with some twin TDI 88s, and I think we should rock and roll. So we're going to have a whole video reveal for the big block, which I think would be coming in later this week, uh, but it's all said and done. It's like badass Bill Intake Bryant Crank, uh, Bill Miller Pro Mod Rods. Like It is a bad son of a gun. I've never owned a big block before. We got the 481X over there, which is like kind of a big block. It's like in that category where they kind of categorize it as a big block, but it's not a big block. It's kind of hemi. It's kind of a big block. It's got all this weird stuff going on. But the Colorado is literally going to be the workhorse of the channel. 500 inch big block, twin 88s, two speed 400, uh, nine inch rear, badass chassis. Um, I'm excited. So, uh, slight change of plans and what we were doing. I know everyone in the comment section is gonna be like, "Damn, dude, can't you just finish one build?" Well, I'm like, "Bro, I'm trying. I'm trying. Like, I'm trying my best." Is that not good enough for you? Why don't you come here and finish them for me? If you, if it's so easy, if it's just as easy as typing in there, why don't you just finish something? Why don't you come here and do it? So, that's what we got going on. Um, absolutely badass. Absolutely badass engine here. And uh, unfortunately, you guys weren't able to see it in action, but it's going to a good home, I know, and uh, it'll be fast, very fast somewhere else. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. There's your update. Exciting news, Big Block Nasty. All you guys out there with Big Blocks, it's time. Big Block Nasty is a thing, and uh, we're gonna have some Big Block Nasty merch coming out. We already got Small Block Ford Nasty merch. Uh, we got LS Nasty merch, and uh, Small Tire Outlaws merchandise is gonna be coming soon as we're putting on that $20,000 race. October 22nd, 23rd at Thunder Valley. So if you come on small tires, you can get your ass whooped because I'm going to win that race. I'm just saying. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, be sure to check out tomorrow's video. We got a bunch of action packed stuff coming for you. Matt's coming back and get a bunch of work done and uh, have some fun. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, go down and click that subscribe button. 27th starts off the LS Nasty Experience giveaway, so don't miss out an opportunity. I might, I might force you to come here and finish one of my projects. That's what I might do. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Come on, subscribe. We'll see you in tomorrow's upload. He get to buy this round. John Doc got to buy this round. The black feet on the property. He got to buy for the next round.